How long should I dry it out before I do the announcement? Just like do a seacrest and just kind of You're buy time yeah. and just delay and just talk about the weather. It looks like it's rainy today. That's not fun. Especially if dogs like You're awful. No. can't walk the dogs later. It's going to be the worst. Okay. All no, right. let's. All right. This is, uh, I'm very excited for this. If you're new to the show, if you've been to the show for a minute, uh, let me kind of explain how we got to this point. Uh, it was like four or five years ago. I had a friend who was serving in the military. She was diagnosed with cancer, and um, she had to go stay at a Fisher House in San Antonio. And at the time, um, I heard a Fisher House, didn't necessarily know what they did until I saw in person. And that's why I kind of realized like they are uh, unsung heroes on the world. So if mm-hmm. you don't know, there's Fisher mm-hmm. houses on like various bases uh, across the world now. And so what the idea is, is like for my friend who was serving and she was stationed in San Antonio, they provide like, think of like a, I think Greek life, like a frat or sorority, like that style of living, sure. but like no alcohol, but, but classy. Do you know what I mean? So it, it's like, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a, it's a house mm-hmm. where there's like 20 rooms in the house with like water and, and TV and bathrooms so that families can be on base while their loved one um, is getting surgery on stuff. And, it, you know, whether it be IED, whether it be an injury, whatever it is. So they also provide uh, flights to make sure that your family can be there by your side for free, which that alone is huge. Because uh-huh. I remember when awesome. I heard our friend had to get chemo, I was like, I don't know how our family is going to be able to pay for airfare and hotel for eight months from Fairfax to yeah. to San Antonio. Yeah. They take care of all that. So that, that's why I was like, well, I need, need you something to help out Fisher House and so the idea came for a comedy show, and that was like uh, in like uh, April of 2016. And I remember bringing it up to Kane at the time, and he he was all for it. People at the station were a little bit like, "I don't know if we're gonna trust John with a microphone." I had to do the first set <laughs> in a sales meeting, and that sucked. Let me tell you, that was like the yeah. I was like I should just retire from comedy. That's yeah. so awkward. Yeah. So we did the first show. It was October 2016. And uh, the venue had like 90 some people and member thinking like, please let us sell out this one show and it sold out in like 10 minutes. And we had a second show and that sold out. And then we did the tour. So like 30 some shows later, uh, we've raised $34,000, which is uh, amazing, amazing for an amazing group of people. And we're excited that we get to do a tour this year. So this is like the official, official announce for uh, intern John's What's Next, Woo! which um, I'm Woo-hoo! very excited for, especially because like with talking to people this last year, if like nobody knows what's next in their lives is what oh, I've kind of realized. Yeah. So yeah. Um, that's kind of where we're going. The this tickets, is so exciting. Yeah. And the cool thing is like tickets are on sale now. And I guess I should probably give the dates. So if you go probably. to internjohncomedy.com, it's on sale now. Uh, June 18th, which is soon, by the way. Leesburg VA Tally Ho Theater. Very excited to help out Tally Ho too. That's a mom pop owned like theater. That's family owned. They obviously had a struggle this past year because they couldn't do shows. That's June eighteenth. Mm. Tally Ho Theater Leesburg. Uh, July seventeenth. Arlington at the Draft House, one of our favorite spots. I'm gonna save this next one for last because it's oh, really you cool. Dirty tease. Uh, uh, September eleventh <laughs> in Baltimore, we're doing Rams Head Live, Yay. which is very exciting. Okay. And then uh, October second in DC, we're doing the Miracle Theater. Now. To my uh, folks in Florida and Kentucky, I am coming to Louisville. I am coming to the Tampa area. I just can't uh, announce those shows officially yet, but the deal is signed. It's happening. I just can't announce it for like a month. Yay! Probably the coolest show yeah. on here, I think, is, I mean, they're all going to be amazing, but August 6th, fantastic day. It's just one of the greatest days of the year. Mainly because it's my birthday. It's your um, birthday, yeah. In Bowie, Maryland, we're doing Prince George Stadium. That's the stadium that the Bay Sox play at, which is- um, This is really neat. I was going to ask you if this is going to be your favorite. Or yeah. The one you're well, most excited about. It's it's wild. Because, like, I mean, like, I never thought anybody wanted to see me do stand-up. And, and the fact that we're doing a professional baseball stadium, like, the, the dugout's going to be the That's stage. Cool. Ooh, like, that is. Bumps. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. So, to the Bay Sox, this is something we worked on with them for a while, and we couldn't do it last year because of the pandemic, but- um, that's going to be amazing. So right now, uh, if you go to internjohncomedy.com, you get tickets for the shows. The merch is on sale, too, because I don't know like what venues. It depends on the county rules. We I can sell merch. Out. Did you? Because, listen, yeah. I'm not going to lie. The, the merch is fire. I mean, like, when I saw is. the baby onesies, I was like, oh, my God. The my man one's my favorite. It's so cute. We got one, well, onesies. We got masks. There's thought shower stuff. It, it's going to be very exciting. If you can't go, you can still donate to the Fisher House as well. They need the money. And the cool thing about Fisher House is if you have airline miles you don't use, they you can donate your miles to the Fisher House so they can make sure That's families so awesome. are with their loved ones. And Tommy Gadsd Entertainment is going to be doing my DJ and photo stuff. 
Diamed, Kyle Cromer, uh, Sauce, of course. The cool thing about uh, Tommy, Kyle, and D is when I did the first show in 2016, I tweeted out like, hey, I'm doing comedy. Does anybody want to come and like help? And like there was uh, three comedians responded. It was Kyle, D, and a, a guy named Ronnie. And then Tommy responded and nobody else did. <laughs> so, which is fair though, because yeah. my first time doing stand up, I've watched the video. I know, Riley, you weren't on the show yet. Rose, no, you were there. It I was, wasn't there yet. To say it was, was rough. There. It was um, like, it I. Was- it yeah, was I've watched I watched that video recently, and I was like, I uh, was right, embarrassed. For- exponentially better. Yeah, no, that was that was. Uh, Isn't it fair to say though go. that like comedy is probably one of the most terrifying things to do on stage? Oh, for sure. No, for sure. Um, and we're doing the songs. Andrew O'Day is gonna be back for songs, which is dope. But the last, I'm excited to do a tour because the last show we did was the Miracle Theater in 2019. I. Mm-hmm. Thought I bombed for an you hour. You did not. I, I thought no because on stage, like I couldn't hear anybody laughing for the way the speakers were. So I got off stage and I told were. Sauce, I'm like, I'm retiring from comedy because that was the worst show ever. So uh, again, I remember you were so mad, and I was like, no, no, people were laughing, and you're like, I didn't hear any of it. You oh, didn't believe was, me, and I was like, no, people were laughing. I was in the crowd. I promise they were laughing. It, it was, yeah, it was the worst. But the goal, we're trying to get to fifty thousand dollars this year. That's the the goal. How about Fisher House? And like the Leesburg show is almost sold out because I announced it in the podcast yesterday. So some of these shows are like getting really close to selling out. So, so again, June 18th, Leesburg, Dang. Tally Hill, that's almost sold out. Uh, July 17th, Arlington at the Draft House. August 6th, Bowie, Prince George Stadium. That's where the uh, Bay Sox play. September 11th, uh, Baltimore, Rams Head Live. And then October 2nd, D.C. Miracle Theater, Florida and Kentucky. I'm coming for you as well. And there's more dates coming. So we're very excited. It's going to be very cool. Um, I posted the, the announced video um, yesterday on Instagram, if you get a chance, check that out. It's pretty cool. There's some, some pretty touching mm-hmm. footage of uh, Kane from the first show. Like, he was the one that kind of believed in it from the beginning. I wish he could have seen that we're playing a baseball stadium. I think that's – he probably would have said, like, finally a, a venue that could hold my ego in my big head because it's outdoors. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> you know – You would say that. Yeah, I, I appreciate you guys, uh, everybody on the show who supported this thing the last – Four years. It's been um, wild, but you guys sharing stuff and talking about it and, and coming to shows, I appreciate you guys. And if you've been to any of the shows, just thank you. Knowing that you're helping uh, military families in like the worst moments of their lives. Rose and I took a tour mm-hmm. of the same, the new Tampa one, and that was like you talking about an eye opening oh experience. Gosh, yeah. Like they, we, I was talking to the woman who was running. And said the youngest person they've had to stay there was like four years old, and the four year old was there for like yeah. three years. I think Dad stepped on, he stepped on an IED or something overseas. And, like, imagine the mom had, like, three kids under six, I think, something like that. And so, like, the Fisher House made sure that they had food, make sure they had a place to stay, and that Santa came. Because otherwise, I don't know yeah, how you'd wow. be able to do that. Like, it is – they're an amazing group. They're celebrating birthdays yeah. and Christmas and all yeah. kinds of holidays there. Like, the people that live there, they become family with everyone else there, too, because they're all yeah. kind of, like, dealing with similar situations. So they can really, like – understand what the other person's going through which is really awesome it's it's a, an amazing amazing group again the goal is to get to fifty thousand dollars raised this year if you want to get tickets they're on sale now going quickly intern john 